Welcome to another Control Hobbies video tutorial. This video will show you how to install and set up the Unisense Telemetry module. The Unisense Telemetry module enables you to monitor the performance of your electrical power system during flight. It will send that information back to a telemetry-capable RC radio system for real-time flight information. It will monitor current, main battery voltage, used battery capacity, altitude, receiver battery voltage, motor RPM, and much more. During setup, you can specify which parameters you would like to monitor and which values should trigger a notification. This will make you aware of any pending issues ahead of time. For example, you can have the Unisense module notify you of a low battery voltage or if you are about to deplete your battery so that you can land safely. The Unisense works with many radio systems and is very easy to set up and install. The Unisense telemetry module is small and light enough to fit in almost any type of RC model. It is installed between the main battery and speed controller and connected to the telemetry data port on your receiver. If you need to also measure RPM, you will have to connect a single wire from the Unisense module to any of the three wires coming from your speed controller that are connected to the motor. The Unisense telemetry module will work with any existing power setup and can operate with voltages of up to 60 volts. Make sure you pick the right Unisense telemetry module that will match your battery connections and model power requirements. We have a wide range of modules that will accommodate many connection types with a current measurement of up to 280 amps. The Unisense telemetry module can be set up outside of your model before installation. The first step is to configure the module for your radio system. This can be done with your radio, PC software, or with the UniDisplay module. If you have a Grapner transmitter, you can set up the module directly from your radio using the telemetry menu on the radio. To communicate between the computer and the Unisense module, you will need a USB interface. If you are a Grapner or Jenny radio owner, you can use your existing USB programming module or you can obtain a USB module from our website. Alternatively, if you do not want to use a computer, you can use the UniDisplay module, which connects directly to any of the SM Modelball products for setup, configuration, and real-time data preview. After completing the software installation, you can set the software display language from the Info tab. Verify that there is an active COM port selected or click on the COM port scan button to select your active COM port. With the Unisense module connected, click on the Connect button to load up the current settings of the Unisense module. If there is a newer firmware available, you will be notified, or you can check for newer firmware from the Update tab. Make sure to always have the latest firmware installed for proper operation. From the Settings menu, select the telemetry radio system you plan to use. The Unisense telemetry module supports a wide variety of transmitters to choose from. Consult the manual for detailed requirements. Next, you need to select the language of the module. This affects the language displayed when accessed remotely with the radio. The current flow is by default set to normal, which is the most common setting. Consult the manual if your setup requires a different setting. If you plan to measure RPM, you will need to specify the number of poles of the brushless motor and if applicable the gear ratio. In runners, usually have two poles while outrunners can have between 8 and 14 poles. The Vario threshold settings determine the response window for when a Vario tone is sounded on the radio when the airplane is in climb or sink. You can control when a Vario tone is sounded on the radio based on your personal preferences. Check the manual for additional information about Vario factor and filter. Typically, the default setting should be used for better accuracy. You can disable the Vario sound during climb when the motor is activated. The Altitude Soft Zero keeps the altitude measurement at 0 meters when the model is still on the ground. You can receive the minimum and maximum telemetry values during flight by connecting the Unisense to a free channel on your radio controlled with a switch. The Unisense can measure battery capacity in several different ways. For example, it can retain the used capacity of the battery in memory and use that value when the model is powered up again. 
This can be useful for sailplane pilots that only use a small portion of the battery's capacity during launch, but not during the remainder of the flight. This will provide accurate battery state information before each flight, eliminating the need to switch batteries when not needed. Check the manual for additional options for battery capacity management. Next, you will have to set the telemetry notification trigger values. Check your radio manual for the available telemetry options your radio supports. The values shown on this video are set for a model that has a 3-cell, 2200 mAh LiPo battery. We monitor that the voltage does not drop below 10 volts and that we do not use more than 80% of the battery's capacity. We also like to keep an eye on the current drawn by the motor, which should not exceed 70 amps. To eliminate the accidental use of empty batteries, we set an alarm to ensure that the minimal battery voltage is 12.4 volts which indicates a full battery. You can also set an altitude restriction, which when crossed will give you a warning. Each model will require different settings depending on the equipment used. The Unisense telemetry module is easy to set up and install, and provides all the information needed for pilots to have a worry-free and safe flight. This concludes the installation and setup tutorial for the Unisense module. We thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need additional support, you can contact us at controlhobbies.com.